Uranus and Neptune, the two outer giants of the solar system. There's so many questions about these worlds. Where are they? What are they? What are they made of? Buns Nation TV Explorers presents This is our inner solar system with Earth over there. That's the inner system viewed from Uranus' point of view. That's the orbital path of Uranus, as you guessed it. That's the inner system viewed from Sedna's point of view at Perhelion, the closest point of orbit to the Sun. Like Earth goes to Perhelion when it's closest to the Sun. Example, that's Uranus, that's Neptune, and that's Pluto. Let's go to Uranus for this one. Now see, that's Uranus, but it's actually tipped on its side. Unlike any other planet except Pluto. That's its axis line. It's at, but it's actually tilted 98 degrees. And that, remember, I told you, that's its axis line, not its equator, not its rings. And its rings are not red. Just warning you. <laughs> Now see, Venus's axis line is 177 degrees, while Earth's is only a meter 23 degrees. That's why we're okay, not tipped like Uranus, and not flipped over like Venus, and not flipped over twice like Pluto. Yeah, Pluto is flipped even more than Venus, maybe 270 degree-ish, something like that. Now see, um, Uranus actually got whacked by a seven Earth mass planet. Twice. Got smacked in the butt and smacked in the head. <laughs> God. <laughs> well, actually, Uranus did get whacked, and yeah, I'm not kidding. The planet literally got whacked. But, <laughs> but see, if this. Supposedly, Earth mass, seven Earth mass planet whacked Uranus. It would send the rings flying off if it whacked one time. But the only way to make this work is to actually make it whack two separate times. Whack, then whack. Like that, and that. Because otherwise, the rings would just like smack into the planet or smack into the earth-sized planet that hit it in the first place. Well, actually, if the earth-sized planet hit it, then it wouldn't actually have that anymore. So I guess the rings would just fall off to the planet anyway. Astronomy is fun! <laughs> now, see, there's four planets that kind of ran the thing, but two of them Jupiter and Saturn, they just like ran the whole entire solar system with their fierce gravity. Now see, Jupiter was the first one to get in. <laughs> I'll talk about this more in my episode about Jupiter. Now see, uh, all of these four planets actually were moving around, but Jupiter and Saturn were the main two. So they were moving like this, and that's it while they were moving their gravitational light. When they were moving the end their gravitational dance, they didn't actually swap places. I just wanted to make that look cool. <laughs> now see, Uranus and Neptune were moving too. It wasn't just Jupiter and Saturn. It actually, Jupiter and Saturn actually made Neptune fling out beyond Uranus. But isn't Neptune already beyond Uranus? True. But it wasn't before. See, the only way to make this model work is to fling Neptune beyond Uranus, otherwise the models won't work. Now, Neptune collided with many bodies while it was trying to fling out. Well, it didn't, come, it didn't fling out because Neptune's still in the solar system. But it did collide with many objects. But it didn't collide with Pluto, luckily. Oh, but did Neptune collide with many other Kuiper Belt objects? 
I'll talk uh, all about this Jupiter Saturn Uranus and Neptune moving around thing and smacking into and smacking and Neptune smacking into the Kuiper Belt and, and destroying many objects and stuff. I'll talk about that all in my episode about the Lady Bombardment. I promise. Thank you for watching Bunsy Nation TV Explorers episode five. Make sure to check out the la the next episode. <laughs> Make sure to check us out, like, subscribe, and ring the bell. See you guys later.